हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन एंड यू आर इन यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन ऑन डिमांड ऑफ मेनी कैंडिडेट्स फ्रॉम एच एस टी आर पी एम आई एम स्टार्टिंग पेड एच एस टी आर पी एम कोर्स फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एक्चुअली मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्टेड दीज पेड क्लासेस विच विल बी डेडिकेटेडली Uh, there only for HSTR PM. So on uh, viewers' demand and candidates' demand, people have trusted me so much. So I am starting paid HSTR PM course, physics and maths, for three months. If you are interested to join this course, you have to just write your name, email ID, phone number, course name, along with a screenshot of payment, and you have to mail me at. Atahar T E T H S T R courses at the rate gmail dot com. A T A H A R T E T H S T R C O U R S E S at the rate gmail dot com. The fee is two thousand five hundred rupees for full three months course. Last date to register for this course is second November twenty twenty two six pm. In this course. the classes which we will provide you will be pre recorded and you all can watch any time till your exam any of the class can be viewed any time till your exam date i will give you access to watch all the pre recorded classes till your exam and these classes they are starting from 7th november how to pay the fee just you have to make a upi payment by scanning the qr code here is the qr code also you can find the link to the qr code and tentative schedule of the classes the link is given in the description below this video actually i have made a tentative schedule of the classes means it is sort of a time table which will be strictly followed during these 3 months course okay now you must have a question in your mind that why should we join the hstr pm course first is daily pre recorded videos as per schedule will be provided to you you will be given access to all my private youtube classes till the exam day and i will also take planned general knowledge english educational psychology aptitude and computer knowledge classes this plan is given in the tentative schedule if you view the tentative schedule you will come to know about all these plans okay previous year questions will be solved mock tests will be conducted weekend doubt clearing sessions will be conducted and you can directly clear your doubts in one dedicated telegram group which will be created only for hstr pm course candidates no others can get into that group okay that will be a dedicated group wherein you can ask all your uh, doubts and uh, we will make sure that we will clear your doubts okay because hstr notification has not come still we all are expecting the hstr notification around um, uh, first week or uh, mid of november till then classes will be taken based on 2015 syllabus once the notification comes and uh, one uh, formal uh, syllabus is given to us till then we will follow 2015 syllabus as soon as the notification comes if there is some change in syllabus then we'll take care of it that uh, the classes will be taken according to the new syllabus which is provided by hstr okay till the notification comes we will follow this tentative schedule once the notification comes based on that we will decide if we will have to change the schedule also there are very less chances of change in schedule because uh, i have uh, made the schedule by so much of thought process that uh, whenever the exam is conducted at least before two months though it will not be conducted because uh, if see in if in mid of november or first of november also if notification comes after that we will at least have two months according to me okay so i have made a schedule with a good thought process but still if the circumstance needs the change in schedule then we will surely change the schedule that's the reason why we are telling it only as a tentative schedule okay now what all is there in the tentative schedule 
actually this tentative schedule it is planned keeping in mind the availability of uh, my free youtube classes which are already there in unfog with dr athar parvin channel i have made many free classes right so keeping all those classes in mind i have made a schedule what i have done is all the classes which i have already taken in youtube which everyone has access they are free classes those classes or those chapters i have not included in the starting of my schedule in this schedule i will first start with the classes which i have not taken in youtube all the chapters which i have not touched in youtube so all the new chapters will be taught in these paid classes later after all the portion finishes later again we will go and touch those chapters which are already available in youtube but that will be a revision class means that will be a new class for that particular chapters only that will not be the exactly same which is available in the youtube okay that will be like a crash course for those particular chapters it will be a good revision okay so according to these uh, uh, plan of uh, taking classes i have planned for 33 physics classes 37 mathematics classes three general knowledge classes seven general english classes i will try to complete the entire syllabus of general english in those seven classes then computer knowledge four classes this also i will try to finish uh, Uh, maximum portion means maybe i will try maybe i will increase the number of classes also if i need for computer knowledge okay then mental aptitude right now to i have kept two classes for mental aptitude let's uh, see once notification comes the model paper will also be released right based on that maybe i will increase the number of classes for mental aptitude also and then educational psychology i have kept only three classes because i feel that i am not uh, enough qualified to teach you all educational psychology in detail but i am capable of giving you many important multiple choice questions and all the expected questions also i can tell you okay so much you can trust on me for educational psychology so i have kept three classes for educational psychology wherein i will discuss all the important multiple choice questions i will do research of all the previous year question papers and all the model papers and also other exams like tet common tet is there karnataka tet is there i will refer all the question papers from different exams and then i will make those three lectures those three lectures will be of very good quality for psychology okay then i may also plan for mock test but that i will do only after notification okay so this all is there in tentative schedule it's better you go in the description you click the link and you watch the tentative schedule by yourself you go through the tentative schedule then you will understand how i have planned for these classes okay and a separate list of multiple choice questions and study material will also be given for each and every chapter last date to register is november 2nd 6 pm because classes will start from 7th november problem is i don't like uh, anyone else to prepare my classes or my presentations i take help of anyone else just to gather some material but my presentations i like to prepare by myself that is the problem so man power problem is there for me because i want everything to be perfect with my classes so that perfection according to me will come only if i will do i am taking the class so i should make the presentation i feel so okay so that's why please cooperate and uh, support by registering before 2nd november or on 2nd november okay will your classes be enough see there are two type of candidates now one are the candidates who cannot pay fee or uh, they want to attend only free classes for such type of candidates i would say that the classes which are available in my youtube channel they are enough for that particular chapters but other chapters which i have not taken for those chapters you have to prepare by yourself okay so much i can tell now other type of students who will enroll in this hstr pm course and want to study with me for such people i can say that my classes will be more than enough they will be more than enough you can blindly trust on me on this okay because you will have the free classes also you will have the paid classes also putting together my classes will be enough 
in fact i think my classes will be enough not only for physics and maths i think they'll be enough for computer and general english also okay they'll be enough my classes the paid classes which i will take no for computer knowledge and for general english they'll be enough for mental ability let the model paper come but i will try i'll try my best i will assure you that you will not feel uh, sad after attending my class for any uh, subject which i have committed okay next is the main and the important and the serious and a controversial question madam are you giving notes why you are not giving notes that is the question see i will answer you clearly first thing is i don't understand what type of notes you all want already what i am teaching no my presentations they are full of notes i am making those presentations with lot of research you will not find any such notes anywhere already those presentations are the notes if you really want the notes i am only giving you idea while attending the class whichever slide you like or whichever slide you feel that you need with the good information it is there you grab a screenshot you make bunch of screenshots for every class you make it as a pdf file you take print out actually i don't understand why you are asking for notes separately i don't know see the same classes which i am taking if you want me to make the pdf of those presentations and send you that i will not do because see first thing is they are published classes as it is if i give pdf to you all it will become unethical so that i am not going to do next if you want other type of notes other type of pdf printable notes which is not like my class it is a different notes my class will be different my notes will be different of course information will be same information in my class and information in the notes will be same but it will not look like my class it will be like a material that notes sir okay that type of notes i can give you but still i strongly say you that you don't need notes i have lot of teaching experience and lot of research experience in my i think since 15 years i am into research field and into teaching field on and off on and off i am into this field okay my experience says that a person who want to achieve success in any exam whether it is a competitive exam or it is a recruitment exam or it is a board exam or it is a uh, any sort of online exam i feel that the person should be in touch with that subject and if you want to be in touch with that subject there is only one method see physically also you know what is a physical touch right if you want to give some warm welcome to anyone we shake hand right that touch is important if you want that touch with your subject how will you touch that subject can you touch that subject only by your eyes i don't think so just by watching the class you cannot or just by reading the notes you cannot you can touch the subject only with your hand and what will your hand do your hand will touch the subject only by writing it i am telling you all this with my experience anyway anyway if you all want notes i can give you notes but that pdf notes i can give you okay it will be in the printed format now i am telling you all to make your own notes while watching my classes that is one thing i will tell you again my aim is you watch my class and while watching my class you should make your own notes not only now i am telling this from first class which i have taken in youtube more than i think uh, 70 classes around 75 classes i have taken right from gpstr in my youtube channel all are free classes right from the starting class i am telling that anyone who is watching my class should write the notes by watching my class that is my aim i don't have any selfish thought behind this i just have one experience which tells that a person cannot succeed in that particular exam without touching the subject just by reading you can never never without writing you can never achieve anything in that exam i feel so friends whatever i have told 
till now if i was rude i am really sorry i am apologizing for my rudeness but i am really hurt that's why i talked in that tone maybe uh, but whatever i told you no know, it is not only for people who are paying me the fee it is also for the people who are attending my free youtube classes for you all also you all should also follow same procedure then only you can achieve something in your exam okay so all the best friends my intention is good i hope that you all understand my intention i am your well wisher i want all good things to happen with you i wish good for you all okay okay bye